Giuseppe De Nittis may be considered one of the most famous and best valued Apurian painters of the 19th century. His art takes inspiration from the French Impressionism and the Saloon, which developed in those years. He founded the School of Resina, a group of Italian artists who painted landscapes and contemporary scenes in a non-academic realistic style, after being expelled from the Institute of Fine Arts in Naples for insubordination. In this period, thanks to his paintings and his revolutionary techniques such as woodcut and watercolor on silk, he became more and more famous in France, whose first day dates back to 1867. After getting much success in Paris and in the Impressionist exhibitions, of which he portrayed his misty atmospheres and settings, he moved to London. Works painting during his several stays in England are quite rare in Barletta's collection, the Nitti's most important one. This includes only three paintings, among which we can find the largest size study for the extraordinary painting on canvas with Mr. Bridge, one of his understood masterpieces. It is one of the Nitti's most famous and best valued work. Thanks to it, he will participate to the World's Fair in 1878. An oil on canvas work made with thick brush strokes using very dark colors, predominantly grey. The subject of the painting is the river Thames, while in the background the viewer may notice London skyline, composed by the Big Ben and Westminster. The whole subjects are surrounded by grey and dark yellow clouds, so that the river and the sky don't seem to be divided by the horizon, as they are more or less painted in the same way. Nevertheless, we may suppose that the actual subject of the painting is the smoke that comes out of the train crossing the bridge. First of all, because the Nittis was particularly interested in steam and trains, as we could notice in other paintings in Barletta's museum, such as Passe il Treno e in Alto Mare. But also because we could believe that it was inspired from the Impressionism itself. In his notebook, he states that it was thanks to London that he reached a maximum economic wealth and managed to sell his work at a very high value. For this reason, we can find other than it is paintings portraying the ordinary English life. Sunday in London is an example. It is another important and interesting than it is painting. At first, indeed, the viewer's gaze stops on a policeman in the foreground, absorbed and vaguely gloomy, realizing only afterwards of the strikers behind him, a very important detail that refers to the decantian vision that the artist majored in London. The Nittis moved his attention indeed from the architectural urban aspect of the cities to the social and human elements, a vision that concerns not only London but also Paris and Naples. For these reasons, the colors he used are quite dark, especially ochre yellow and brown, colors used as well in other London's paintings, such as Piccadilly, Trafalgar Square, National Gallery and London Bank. In these last pictures, he paints the English society with thick brushstrokes that are typical of the Impressionism during ordinary days and ordinary situations. But he actually reveals a deeper meaning. He wrote, No city like London has ever unveiled the underground of degradation of the human condition. Brush strokes. Brush strokes. <laughs> that. Uh, that. That. Are the typical of impressionism. Impressionism. Oh yeah. Impressionism. impressionism. Okay. During. Uh, During. Mm? Because of ordinary <laughs> days. Okay. And ordinary situations. Situations. What's the lie? Situations. Situations. But, <laughs> Batman, he actually reveals a deeper meaning. He wrote. Okay. He wrote. Wrote. <laughs> wrote.